Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we have a mystery. I have an M.2 um, for the um, MPG X570 Gaming Plus motherboard. It's the Lightning, Sh Lightning Gen 4 shielding that they included separately and not on the motherboard. Which, if, okay, first off, never seen that before. Secondly, I can't figure out where it goes. So let's have a look. You tell me what you think. There we go. Okay, so this is the reason why I wanted to show you this video. Because it's something you can help me with because I'm at a loss. So, of course, to give you all your uh, little standoffs here, okay, they're going to go in here like that, that one. If you need them in any of the other junctures, which you'll need one here, no problem. Put that in there and you're good, right? Right. Okay, just screw it down, fasten it down, you're good to go. But, they include this. Alright? Now this peels off, and you have two places to screw it on. So great, you could put it onto the one here, on this end. But there is nothing here to fasten anything onto. So if you know what I'm missing here, because I don't think I am, give me some feedback and let me know. Or... Did this get included and has no real purpose? <laughs> I, I can't fathom what it what purpose it has. Uh, I've looked at all the other M.2 spots on here. Nothing. I cannot see where that goes. So that's all I wanted to show you. So obviously your M.2, you have your little standoff. Let's just do, let's just do that for you. I might as well show you something here. I mean, there should be something to the video, right? Although there's certainly lots of them out there that don't show you anything. So let's take this one here, fasten it where it needs to go, which is right here. All right, we'll just tighten around, and we can use a screwdriver just to further tighten it. Yeah, because that's the one we're going to need. Put our M.2 dot M dot in. Okay, notice how this goes in is along with here. So just put it at an angle. Push it in. It's going to pop down. You're going to see where that lines up perfectly. Take your little screw and pop it down and you're good to go. But again, that really wasn't the point of the video. I mean, most people can figure out how to put an M.2 in there. What I want to know is, how do I install this? Because, all right, this will line up with this, right? You can see that there. And, of course, it's going to give you some thermal protection, although this kind of already has it. But there's nothing for it to line up with. This is where the standoff is for your motherboard, all right? If there's another way of doing this that I'm just obviously missing, please put it in the comments let me know because I'm at a loss. So that's the purpose of the video. This time you can teach me. All right, so the only other thing I want to show you is I revamped my background. Tell me what you think. You like it? Don't like it? What would you like to see different? Um, I'm just trying to make the things look a little more professional, even though I'm probably not. Anyhow. If you got an answer for me on that M.2 shield, because I don't see how it goes on. In fact, I looked at a bunch of videos trying to figure out am I missing something. Everybody skips over it. Literally every video. So this is why I'm trying to find out why did they even include it in the box? Is it just for show? I don't know. Normally it's on the motherboard. Is it a mistake? They just packaged it up so you can use it on something else? I don't know. Anyway, Hope you like that. Hope it entertained you for at least a minute or two. Give me your comments. Give me your like. And if you're new here, think about subscribing and hit that bell for notifications for videos as they come up in the future. And sorry about my voice. I've contracted that terrible disease that's going around. Um, uh, it's nasty. Protect yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.